Sam Altman is the leader or CEO of OpenAI, a big company that works on making computers smarter. Now he's leading a super exciting project worth $7 trillion. That's a tremendous amount of money. This project is about making special computer chips called AI chips, which are the brains of computers that are good at doing innovative stuff, like recognizing faces or helping cars drive themselves. This project is significant because there aren't enough of these AI chips to go around. Think of it like trying to bake many cookies with just one oven. It's slow and you can't make enough. So Sam's project wants to fix that problem by making more AI chips, not just chips, better ones that can do even more excellent stuff. Remember, Sam's not doing it alone. He's teaming up with other companies that make chips, people who invest money, and even countries like the UAE. It's like a significant group effort to make sure everyone has access to these excellent chips. It should be known these chips are super crucial for the future. They'll make computers even more intelligent, which can help us do all sorts of amazing things, from finding cures for diseases to making our lives easier. So, we've talked about Sam Altman's massive project and why it's such a big deal for the world of AI. Let's see how he plans to get all that money to make his vision a reality. All right, imagine needing between five and seven trillion dollars. That's not just a lot of money. It's more than anything ever funded. It's even more significant than the entire budget of the US in 2020 and surpasses the wealth of the top 10 wealthiest people and major companies like Apple and Google combined. So where on earth is all this money going to come from? One potential source is what we call sovereign wealth funds. These are like giant piggy banks owned by countries. They've got loads of money and like to invest it in big projects that can help their economies and societies grow. Take the UAE, for example. They've got a fund called the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority with over a trillion dollars just sitting there, waiting to be invested. They spread their investments all over the globe in things like tech, infrastructure and energy. Countries like the UAE, Sam Altman has been chatting with, could be significant players in funding his project. They could offer tons of cash and give access to the growing AI market in the Middle East. However, using sovereign wealth funds isn't all sunshine and rainbows. They can be pretty secretive about their investments, have hidden agendas, and might want a say in how the project is run. Plus, there's the potential for political issues, especially if other countries consider the project a threat. Then there are private equity firms. These guys are investors who love to splash their cash on big, ambitious projects that promise hefty returns. One of the big players here is SoftBank's Vision Fund, which has $100 billion just for investing in tech and other cool stuff. They could be perfect partners for Altman, opening doors to Asia's vast AI market. But there's a catch. Private equity firms usually want their money back quickly and might push the project in ways that aren't precisely what Altman had in mind. Plus, they could butt heads with other investors who have different ideas about where the project should be headed. Companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft and Apple aren't short on cash and they're always looking for new tech that can give them an edge. Microsoft already works closely with OpenAI, so they could be a natural fit for investing in Altman's project. Focusing on some potential partners for Sam Altman's project. These giants of the tech world, companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft and Apple, could be a perfect fit. They've got money and a way into the North American AI market. But teaming up with them isn't without its challenges. They might want the project to align too closely with their products and strategies, which could limit its freedom. Plus, they might face pushback from competitors and regulators who see them as too powerful. But there are other options on the table too. Altman could explore crowdfunding, where many people invest small amounts of money to fund the project. Or he could look into government grants, where the government provides money to support projects that benefit society. You might be wondering, why do these investors want to throw so much money at this project? Well, it's because they see the massive potential of AI. It's not just some fancy tech. It's a game changer, reshaping how we live, work and interact with the world around us. No matter which route Altman takes, one thing's for sure. 
Raising to $7 trillion will take a lot of work. It's a massive undertaking that will require vision, bravery, and expertise. And Altman knows this all too well. He's been around the block in the chip industry, with investments and ventures like Rain Neuromorphic, which works on brain-like chips, and his involvement in starting the Tigris project to develop a new, efficient AI chip. But these projects have been challenging, from funding issues to technical hurdles, showing how harsh and unpredictable chip development can be. AI isn't just about robots or talking to your phone. It's about making everything brighter, from your smartphone to your car to how factories make stuff. And the demand for AI is skyrocketing. Some experts predict that 2027, the AI market could be worth $267 billion. That's a growth rate of over 33% every year. And then there's the competition. The AI chip market is fiercely contested, with many players vying for a piece. But standing tall above them all is NVIDIA, the powerhouse dominating the market with over 80% of the share. NVIDIA's innovative chips and technology drive AI advancements, making them the biggest challenge for Altman's project. But let's talk about why all this matters. Economically, AI is a powerhouse predicted to add trillions to the global GDP and create millions of jobs. And socially, it's reshaping every facet of life, from how we work to how we interact. So having accessible, robust AI infrastructure is crucial for countries to remain competitive in the global market and ensure broad participation in the AI-driven future. For OpenAI, this project isn't just about technological advancement. It's about shaping a future where AI's full potential can be realized globally. From its founding in 2015 by tech luminaries, OpenAI has been on a mission to advance AI in ways that benefit humanity broadly. Recent leadership and board changes signal a strategic realignment, positioning OpenAI for future challenges and opportunities in the AI domain. But the current way we make AI chips and run AI systems isn't cutting it. It's like trying to run a Formula One race with a beat-up old car. We need better, faster, and more efficient technology to keep up with AI's rapid growth. That's where Sam Altman's project comes in. By revamping the semiconductor industry and building a new AI infrastructure, he's aiming to meet the soaring demand for AI and fuel its continued expansion. And with the proper funding from investors who believe in the power of AI, this ambitious project could reshape the future of technology as we know it. So, that's the story of Sam Altman's ambitious project, the quest for trillions of dollars, and the incredible potential of AI to change the world. It's a wild ride, but one thing's for sure, the future looks brighter than ever. Sam Altman's journey to revolutionize the AI chip industry is extraordinary. The challenges ahead are vast, but the potential impact on the world of technology and beyond is immeasurable. If you found this exploration intriguing, remember to give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more insightful content. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to bringing you more exciting updates in the future.